Hey guys, it's time for our daily Bible verse today, and I actually have another suggested verse. This one comes from my other good friend, Eric Pleasance, and he suggested that I read John chapter 13, verse 3. Now, that is a great verse, but also I want to read a little bit above and a little bit below that just to give you guys some more background on the verse. So I'm going to read John chapter 13, verse 1 through 5. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand, and he was come from God and went to God. He rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Now, a car did go by, so I don't know if you could exactly hear me reading uh, a verse or two there, but like I said, they're usually up here on this side, so you guys can read along with that. If you didn't hear me, I'll kind of explain more of this as I go. So, um, This is during Passover when Jesus was talking to the disciples and trying to explain to them what to do after he was gone because he knew the time was getting close to when he had to go to the cross, die, raise again the third day, and ascend up to be with his Father in heaven. Now, for those of us who know who Judas Iscariot is and for those of us who don't, Judas Iscariot is the person who took money to betray Jesus and show the Roman soldiers who Jesus was. Now, after Passover, Passover is what Christians do to remember Jesus or remember what he did for us because we eat bread and that's supposed to represent his body that was broken on the cross and we drink of the cup which is supposed to represent his blood which pretty much covered our sins so um, it says here and supper being ended the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot Simon's son to betray him so for Jesus' plan to work Judas had to take money and willingly betray Jesus and turn him in. So this says that the devil put that in Judas Iscariot's heart. So Jesus knew that. So later in the verses he says, do what needs to be done quickly. And pretty much the verse that Eric wants me to read is, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he was come from God and went to God. Now here it says, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands. Obviously that's like how I've been saying for the past few Bible verses, Jesus owns everything. Jesus made this earth, he made us, everything is in his hands. The uh, second part of that is, and he was come from God and went to God. Now he came from heaven to earth to be on this earth and die on the cross, and it says he went to God. Now, uh, I'm taking that as after he rose from the dead on the third day, he ascended back up to heaven to be with his father until he comes back to get us. So that was a good verse. I thought I'd give a little more background on there. Another interesting thing is, as it said, Jesus washed the disciples' feet. And back in those days, you didn't have covered shoes. You had sandals, and you'd walk through the sand and all that, and your feet would be nasty. So some, like if you went to someone else's house, the owner of the house would wash your feet, and pretty much it's putting yourself lower than the person that is coming to visit. So it's a showing humility. And Peter did not want Jesus to wash his feet because... He said, I do not deserve you to wash my feet. And Jesus pretty much told him, if I don't wash your feet, then you can't be a part of me and come into my kingdom because we have to accept Jesus and take him in. So Peter pretty much said, then wash all of me, Lord. Just wash every bit of me. So thank you for the suggestion, Eric. It was a very good verse. Uh, keep the suggestions coming, guys. I love hearing from you, and I'll see you tomorrow.